Assalamu alaikum my dear students how are you I wish all of you are fine this is your uh, eighth video class for class 10 and you know in my every class you just have take your chemistry book in front of you and compare with my lecture and because I am taking my lecture uh, from your book page to page at first go to my computer screen I was talking about uh, chapter number 11 and this is page number 277 and in my last class I told about addition of water with alkyne that's why my new topic is alcohol that is 11.5.1 alcohol okay open page number open page number 277 and chapter 11 uh, yeah, again go to my laptop screen again Alcohols, the bi compounds which have hydroxyl radical are called alcohols. However, the compounds are not called alcohol though they have hydroxyl radical, such as phenol. General formula of alcohol is and is twice in plus one. The first member of this class is methanol, then ethanol, symbolized by uh, ROH, and here you know R is alkyl radical and its name. So, go to my uh, whiteboard again my topic is alcohol alcohol means its general formula is cm is twice n plus one then oh what is this you know this is the formula of alkyl this is the formula of alkyl what is alkyl when one hydrogen is less than an alkane then that is alkyl so if R, if OH is attached with R, then this is called alcohol. Alkyl plus OH, this combination is called alcohol. Alcohol. Suppose if you put the value of this N equal 1, we can write C1 is 2 into 1 plus 1, then OH. That is CH2 1 out. 2 plus 1 3OH this is called methanol if you write if you write n equal to 2 here then C2 is 2 into 2 plus 1 OH that is C2 is 2 to the 4 plus 1 that is 5 C2 H5 OH this is called ethanol ethanol this is the way to write the alcohols you may ask me sir if OH is written at the later part of a formula then it is alcohol no sodium hydroxide OH is written at later part of this compound is this alcohol no this is a base this is an alkali this is not an alcohol why this alcohol this OH is attached with a metal that's why this is called a base a base this OH is attached with a metal but if any OH is attached with alkyl if OH is attached with alkyl then those are called alcohol like methanol like ethanol and the when I write the uh, the um, name of that alcohol my last two letter is OL last two letter is O L O L those O L is coming from alcohol suppose if I write <coughs> ethan E T H A N E ethan from ethan if I remove one hydrogen then this is this is ethyl E T H Y L ethyl if ethyl is added with and OH this is not minus sign you know students of class 10 this is not minus uh, this is minus one hydrogen is removed from ethane then we will get we will get this ethyl and this OH is not uh, uh, this sign is not minus this when this OH is attached with ethyl then ethanol this ethanol is produced ethanol is produced so so 
if you write O is after any alkyl, that will be a, an alcohol. In our book, this is written that phenol is not an alcohol because phenol, its formula is C6H5O is. This is the formula of phenol. C6H5 is not a formula of alkyl. C6H5 is not any formula of alkyl. C6H5O is. This is not alkyl. This is this is aryl. If O is attached with directly with a aryl, directly with an aryl, then that is not an alcohol. That is phenol. That is acidic. This is totally different thing. Totally different thing. So alcohol has great importance in chemistry. Uh, most of them are not drinkable. Only this ethanol is drinkable, and in a very lower portion, lower concentration, and it has great importance in uh, in producing different type of reagents, uh, in producing different type of medicines. So we should learn this uh, alcohol properly. Then I'm uh, I'm going to my laptop screen again. Naming, naming. Naming that means our, our last two letter is OL is written. That's why ethanol OL is written here. Then topic is preparation of alcohol. How can you prepare this alcohol? So we, we should learn this preparation. In our book, it's written that ethyl bromide. This is ethyl bromide. If you if you uh, add this ethyl bromide with sodium hydroxide then then alcohol is produced how so uh, this is uh, i will write in my board again preparation of alcohol from ethyl halide ethyl halide okay ch3 ch2 br <coughs> br this is called ethyl ethyl this portion is ethyl this is bromine so this is called ethyl bromide if you add this ethyl bromide with sodium hydroxide with sodium hydroxide and if you apply some heat this triangle sign it it is denoted uh, it expresses uh, that in this reaction we, we should apply some heat then this sodium bromide will form this OH will come to this carbon so what will form CH3 CH2OH this is called ethanol ethanol and byproduct is sodium bromide byproduct is sodium bromide you know this is a salt this is a salt you can ask me in my uh, uh, a few seconds ago i wrote ethanol i wrote ethanol by this way so so this formula and this formula is same obviously why not suppose if i write two carbon these two carbon like this way c and c if i write three hydrogen atoms for this carbon ch3 then if this carbon is attached with oh then this carbon has only two hands one and two one hydrogen and another hydrogen so c is three this portion is ch3 this portion is c is two and then oh so ethanol can be expressed by this way by this way also so uh, we can produce ethanol that means a uh, an alcohol from alkyl halide by applying caustic soda that means sodium hydroxide and we should apply some heat in this reaction rich so you should understand all the things my next topic is aldehyde at first go to my laptop screen next topic is aldehyde aldehyde is called the bio compounds the bio compounds which have aldehyde group that means which functional group are called aldehyde it's naming like uh, this is propanel this is methanel etc and then its preparation okay okay so let us go to board again aldehyde aldehyde 
aldehyde has also also very importance in chemistry uh, we should learn it properly aldehyde the general formula of aldehyde is r c h o you know r is alkyl and its formula is c n is twice n plus 1 then c h o this is called aldehyde suppose suppose <coughs> If I write, if I write the value of n equal to 1, then C1 is 2 into 1 plus 1, then CHO. That means, that means uh, CH3, CHO. CH, C, C, 2 1s are 2 plus 1, 3, then CHO. If I write n equal to 2, then C2 is 2 into 2 plus 1 CHO that means C2 C2 is 5 H5 then CHO this compound is called in total in total this uh, there are two carbon atoms that's why that's why this is called this is called ethanol ethanol we know one one carbon uh, methane can contains one carbon ethane contains two carbon this compound has two carbon atoms that's why this is a derivative of ethane that's why this is called ethanol and last two letter is al for aldehyde al for aldehyde this al for aldehyde okay here 2 plus 3 2 plus 1 that is three carbons then methane ethane propane then it is called pro Pa, propanel last two letter is al propanel and the simplest aldehyde is is cho simplest aldehyde only one hydrogen is attached with the this carbon this is called methanel methanel last two letter is al so we can we can think that CHO is the functional group of this aldehyde. If you know this, CHO is the functional group of this aldehyde. So you should learn this type of things. And last two letter will be A L. Then we have to we have to learn its preparation. How can we produce this aldehyde? And I wrote this reaction in my previous lecture that is hydrolysis of hydrolysis of alkyne aldehyde preparation aldehyde preparation preparation a ch triple bond ch this is you know this is ethyne if you add water with this ethyne in presence of you know this in presence of 20 percent 20 percent sulfuric acid and 2 percent mercury sulfate and at 60 degrees celsius temperature 60 degrees celsius temperature then two hydrogen atom comes to this carbon one oxygen will come to this carbon that's why this uh, triple bond breakdown only sigma bond will remain stay and these two pi bonds will dissociate so this pi bond and this pi bond will dissociate it ch3 cho that is ethanol ethanol last two letter is al ethanol will produce ethanol is two hydrogen will come to one carbon one oxygen will come to another carbon by this way ethanol that means aldehyde is produced so uh, the, we write this reaction uh, uh, well in different cases hydrolysis of alkyne this is hydrolysis reaction of alkyne also also in my uh, book in 278 page there are any another topic that is formalin here written 40 percent of the liquid solution of formaldehyde is called formalin formalin contains 40 percent methanol and 60 percent 60 percent water formalin is widely used in laboratories it is used for preserving the dead bodies of different animals 
you know the name of this formalin actually formalin is the 40 percent aqua solution of methanol methanol means a c h o actually 40 percent methanol plus 60 percent water this combination actually this combination is called formalin this combination is called formalin this formalin has great importance in preservation of dead bodies but in few cases it is treated in negative way so we don't try this and we should we should uh, understand its negative uh, negative uses also but as a chemistry student we should learn what is formally it's it is a uh, combination of formaldehyde and water and its composition thank you very much inshallah we will see in my next class assalamu alaikum